This was a highly coveted uh, job for sure. Kevin Stallings was one of the first to be interviewed and it was then it became very apparent to me after that interview that he was the standard for the others to rise to and obviously at the end of that uh, nobody met uh, the qualifications and, and the connection that uh, Coach Stallings had and, and uh, couldn't be more excited. We were looking for a coach who had a connection with his student athletes and if you Look at Twitter and what the student athletes of these coaches are saying, you would know that, that uh, there is a great relationship there. I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank Vanderbilt University, uh, their fans, and most importantly, uh, all of those wonderful men that I coached there the past 17 years. Um, you'll find out I love my players. I was very fortunate to be able to meet with uh, our, our returning team uh, a, a few minutes ago. And no matter how well the rest of my day goes, I can assure you that that will be my highlight. Uh, I, I was energized by their energy. Uh, I, I was fascinated and impressed with their togetherness and closeness. And uh, I, I couldn't be more excited to, to get out here on this court with them as soon as the rules will allow for it about uh, uh, the fans' uh, reaction. Uh, and I'll tell you that uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be here because we're gonna be above the noise and you've just met the man that's gonna lead our ship. And if you're not impressed with him, uh, then you, you uh, uh, maybe aren't in the right spot. So we couldn't be more excited about how we're moving forward. The team couldn't be more excited. And today is the first day of the Kevin Stalling era and I, I couldn't be, uh, I am absolutely excited. I think the fans, as they get to know him, will be that way as well, so. Uh, your words here, players whose experience will be reward rewarding. Uh, you'll find out I love my players, treat people in the program the way we want to be treated. Why wasn't Sheldon allowed to transfer to Pitt? Um, that's something that Sheldon and I have discussed and, and um, uh, the details, quite frankly, are, are, are unimportant. I, I think if we had, if we had to do uh, the situation again, um, Things might have been handled a little bit differently, and and um, uh, but uh, honestly, that to me is is um, uh, something that's in the past. I've spoken with Sheldon. I've spoken with his family, uh, and I think we're all comfortable with what happened. I think we're all comfortable with where we're at now, and I think we're all comfortable with with what things look like for us going forward. It, it had nothing to do with with character. Um, it, it had nothing to do with. Um, um, uh, there, there were just some details that, uh, again, anybody that thinks that uh, the head of any organization can stand up before people and give them all of the details of, uh, of anything is usually uh, misguided because um, that's just not the way it goes. I, I'm sure that's not the way it goes in the, in, in the, in, in the media business either. Um, he, was, he was released to every other school but Pitt, that's correct. It, it does, and, and if you were, if, if, again, there are things that all of us would do differently if, if we had do-overs in our life, um, and that might be one that I would do over, but for, for me to, uh, to go into specific detail about, about what happened, I think is, uh, is useless and, and, and certainly uh, not productive for, for Sheldon nor I, uh, and I, I'm really much more concerned about him than I am anything else. I'm very committed to, to recruiting the very best student athletes that, that we can find for the University of Pittsburgh. And, and uh, I would love for all of them to come from Western Pennsylvania. It would make our, perhaps make our recruiting uh, endeavors uh, a little easier, but that's probably not going to happen. And, uh, but uh, we're going to recruit locally, statewide, and, and nationally as, as hard as we can and as effectively as we can. Both you guys mentioned the conversation, why do you want to come to Pitt? Can you get to the Final Four? Last I checked, you can get to the Final Four at Vanderbilt, too. So why leave a program, you mentioned your close relationship with your players, after 17 years, you know, you made your mark there, why move on? And were you given any indication by that administration about whether you would return? I know you had said after you lost to Wichita State that that decision is, quote, out of my hands. So I'm just curious, why leave? And then were you given any notice by the university about whether you would come back in the fall? 
Um, I, I would answer that in, in two ways. First of all, that decision was out of my hands all 17 years that I worked there. Okay, the, it was, um, and my athletic director told me, point blank, I want you to coach here as long as, as you want to coach. And, uh, and had very recently told me, I don't want to have to hire another basketball coach as long as I'm here because he's probably a few years from retirement. But, um, you know, sometimes you, you get to a point, first of all, when you're someplace for 17 years, I think you think you're going to be there at, at different times the rest of your life. I, I think you just feel like, okay, this is probably it. Um, but when I got the first call uh, about this job may be opening, it felt different. It, it felt, uh, I felt an excitement in my heart, uh, an excitement in my body um, that I hadn't felt in a long time. And, and I, I've had a number of opportunities uh, over the years to, to coach elsewhere. Um, I loved being at Vanderbilt. I loved, like I said, the, the people that I coached there and the people that I worked with there. But sometimes there, there comes a point in your life to where if you don't change, then you're never going to change. And um, I guess I just kind of determined that I wanted one more, one more opportunity. And um, um, so I, I would say that those are, are, are mainly the reasons. And um, I couldn't be any more excited to be here. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, that's what it's about. How do we get better? And, and remember, and, and with no slight to, to Vanderbilt, uh, there's a lower ceiling at Vanderbilt from, from the pool of, uh, that you can recruit from to uh, the emphasis on, on basketball uh, and, and likewise. So uh, absolutely, you look at the job he's done uh, in that environment, uh, he's done very, very well. You look at the number of NBA draft picks that he's, he's recruited, you look at, uh, at, at uh, the, the success he's had overall. Uh, my first hope is that None of those guys that are sitting right there want to transfer. That's my, that's my first hope. Um, and then after, after those guys can figure out whether or not they're comfortable with me, then um, we'll obviously we'll move forward to the, to the signees. Um, I had discussions with, uh, uh, with two of them last night. I hope to talk to the third one today. And, um, uh, and I was just very candid with both of them. If, if, they don't want to be here. Um, I, I understand how change can affect some people, and, and so uh, we'll we'll do what we what we have to and can not to keep them, but at the same time not be in their way if if, if they want to to go elsewhere.